Hi, I'm Anil Jain, Managing Director of Media and Entertainment Industry Solutions at Google Cloud. It's my pleasure to present at the first Digital Next On Air. Media and entertainment companies are in the midst of a significant transformation, transitioning from the traditional pay TV ecosystem to providing their content directly to consumers via new streaming services. According to PwC, Direct-to-consumer streaming will grow significantly, increasing to nearly $74 billion in global revenues over the next three years. That's a growth rate of nearly 14% year over year. With the impact of COVID-19 and shelter-in-place policies, this transition has accelerated in the past few months. According to a recent study done by Accenture, video streaming has increased by over 36% since the beginning of the pandemic. It's clear that audiences are hungry for more content stories that inform, educate, and engage during these challenging times. Today, I'll talk about how Google Cloud is helping some of the world's largest entertainment companies satisfy audience needs in four key areas. First, we're working to provide and support robust and resilient content production pipelines. The number of scripted television series produced in the United States alone continues to reach record highs year after year. And with the pause in filming due to COVID, media companies must find a way to continue remote production of new content. Second, we're helping companies apply artificial intelligence and machine learning to manage content and to maximize the value of existing libraries. Third, we're providing scalable infrastructure to power direct-to-consumer distribution platforms that scale with audiences across geographies. And finally, we're helping companies understand their audiences more deeply throughout the customer lifecycle using data and predictive analytics. Leading media companies must continue to innovate and transform in all of those areas, while also maintaining a safe and collaborative environment for their workforce. This is going to be increasingly critical in order to succeed in today's fast-changing media landscape. Let's take a look at each area in more depth. First, content production. With live action filming for many TV shows and films on pause this year, and with many editors and artists sheltering in place, there's been an acute need for establishing remote post-production workflows. While many companies have been working with hybrid workflows for some time, we've seen more companies experiment with cloud-native processes during 2020. Here at Google Cloud, we're working with media partners such as Teradici, NVIDIA, and Bebop Technologies to bring GPU-accelerated, high-powered workstations to artists everywhere for tasks like visual effects, animation, and film editing. We know when it comes to remote collaboration that securing your content is a large concern. So we've worked extensively with the media industry to ensure tier one compliance with all of the major film studios. We also undergo regular independent security evaluator audits and conform to the best practices outlined by the MPA standards. Luma Pictures, a visual effects company, completed hundreds of shots for the blockbuster Spider-Man Far From Home with about one third of those shots created in the cloud. By utilizing our global infrastructure, teams in Los Angeles and Melbourne could work around the clock to produce astonishing visuals collaboratively. While the creation of new content has paused, companies are working to mine their steadily growing libraries and back catalogs to help fill the audience demand for content. In five years, entertainment data will encompass a quarter of all the world's data, but 42% of media CIOs today struggle with managing the immense volume of content being produced, according to a recent white paper by IDC and Seagate. Google Cloud's AI and machine learning capabilities, in conjunction with partners such as Gray Meta, Vitaspine, and Zoroa, can help companies digitize, categorize, index, and activate content. We're working with Fox Sports to help automate a time-consuming manual process in media and entertainment, the labeling, discovering, and storing of video assets. Fox Sports will utilize Google Cloud's video search and advanced machine learning capabilities to more effectively unlock the value of its vast archive of sports content. When it comes to distributing content to a large audience, media companies need reliable, globally available infrastructure that scales to meet demand. Everything we do at Google Cloud is based on our global infrastructure. This is the very same technical infrastructure that makes low latency experiences on Stadia and on YouTube possible. Our 24 data center regions are spread across the globe with nine more regions to come. These locations are tied together by our private fiber optic network. We have two tiers of network offerings, but our premium network tier is what we're recommending for media streaming. It keeps traffic on Google's private network as long as possible and exits to the public internet at a location close to the viewer in order to provide a smooth viewing experience. On top of our scalable infrastructure foundation, 
We're also working with a growing ecosystem of media partners to help modernize existing broadcast and video processing workflows, including Cinemedia, MediaKind, Everts, and several others. Innovative media companies like Vimeo and Fubo TV are scaling their distribution supply chains to continue serving their audiences globally with Google Cloud. Vimeo was able to seamlessly scale their live streaming service in response to unprecedented demand due to COVID, and we continue to work with Fubo TV in scaling their video processing and distribution. The shift to digital viewing and direct to consumer allows companies to understand at a much deeper level what their audiences are experiencing in real time. Streaming services produce billions of data points and events per day, but media companies often struggle with harnessing the power of that data to produce personalized audience experiences throughout the customer journey, from acquisition to engagement through to retention. Our smart analytics platform, powered by BigQuery and Looker, provides a scalable serverless data warehouse with machine learning capabilities built right in that can help capture, store, process, and analyze massive amounts of data seamlessly. Customers like Major League Baseball, ITV, and Sky are utilizing our smart analytics platform to better understand their audiences and listeners and provide personalized experiences. Now, stories and audiences are at the heart of any successful media business, but there's one last critical factor driving a successful transformation to direct to consumer, and that is your teams. Many companies have already pioneered working from home, but 74% of CFOs surveyed in March 2020 say they intend to shift some previously on-site employees to remote work permanently post-COVID-19. G Suite and Google Meet can help. A great example is how we helped the broadcast team at Yahoo Finance transition 150 reporters, producers, anchors, and technicians from a legacy TV studio to a 100% work from home model overnight. Within a span of a few hours, our team worked with them to set up eight hours of seamless live broadcast from locations across the United States and London, providing global audiences with critical news and information in this particularly uncertain time, all using Google Meet. In short, many companies are turning to Google Cloud for our globally scalable infrastructure, advanced data analytics and AI capabilities, and our growing ecosystem of media-specific partners who can help manage the new normal while continuing to modernize their organizations to serve audience needs. I had the opportunity to speak with Jason Gadke, Chief Technology Officer of Major League Baseball, on how Google Cloud is helping them modernize America's game. Let's take a look. Hi, Jason. We are so incredibly excited to be working with Major League Baseball. Thank you for making the time to join us today. Thanks, Anil. I'm glad to be here today, and uh, we're excited to talk about the new Google partnership. So earlier this year, uh, as many people know, we announced a strategic partnership with MLB. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that came about, what your goals were specifically um, with the partnership? Sure. When we sat down to take on this uh, infrastructure refresh and our product refresh uh, uh, mission, um, we had to ask ourselves, what is our end goal here? And it, it pretty quickly became obvious to us that our fundamental goal is fan engagement. It's bringing the game of baseball, which is a beautiful game, to our millions of fans and being able to come in and introduce new technology that allows for things like personalization, personalized recommendations, a social, a social um, viewing experience where something happens in the field, you get excited about that and you get to share that experience with other fans. These are the things that really motivate us. And Google's been a great partner in building um, some products that I think embody uh, those values. Um, StatCast is a good example. Uh, StatCast is our baseball analytics platform uh, where we are increasingly measuring everything that happens on the field to extremely high degrees of fidelity. This started off about five years ago as a ball tracking technology so we could track pitches. Today, we can track literally everything that happens on the field, not only pitches and hits and throws, but also player positioning you know, for all players on the field, even coaches and umpires. And we're moving from tracking players as a single point of mass, uh, sort of center of mass on the body, uh, an approximation for the, these players, to skeletal tracking, which is a real-time uh, data feed um, that really captures the, the player poses and positions and how a player responds to a play on the field. It gives you a much richer sense of the game as it's being played. And, and this is something that is uh, now entirely being powered by the Google Cloud. It's early on in the partnership between MLB and Google Cloud. Um, so can you maybe give us some examples of uh, projects that you have already started to work on? 
Sure, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, our technology infrastructure team is really excited about deploying Anthos uh, within uh, the 30 ballparks around the country. What Anthos allows us to do is provide a common control plane for all of our compute workloads, uh, whether we're running those on-prem at the baseball parks themselves where we have uh, small data centers in each facility or within the cloud. And a more fan-facing example would be a project that we internally call Fastball. This is a fundamentally new approach to uh, video uh, within the game. So traditionally, baseball has been a one-to-many kind of publishing platform where our editors and producers uh, cut highlights like home runs or double plays or exciting moments in the game. And there's a handful of those that then go out to the fans. What fastball allows us to do is cut literally every play out of every game and put those in the hands of the fans with some powerful tools like advanced search, personalized recommendations, and social sharing. Uh, we think this is a new way of experiencing the game, and it's one that's really going to appeal to a younger generation of fans. Finally, um, uh, an example maybe behind the scenes, more of a baseball operations uh, workload, is our baseball analytics platform, uh, our business analytics platform, that is. Um, we have a project uh, in-house called Wheelhouse, uh, which is a large data lake that integrates all of the interaction our fans have uh, with the game of baseball. So this could be buying a ticket, buying a jersey, um, streaming a game online, visiting our website, using the mobile app. All of these touch points tell us a little bit about how individual fans engage and enjoy the game. And by putting Wheelhouse on BigQuery, we found that we have an extremely powerful data analytics platform for running complex queries. It also integrates very well into the rest of our workflow and tooling, whether that's single sign-on using G Suite IDs or integrating Google Sheets uh, to do ad hoc queries uh, and analysis. Finally, uh, the MLB marketing team and the club marketing departments enjoy the fact that a lot of their uh, ad management integrates natively into BigQuery and the Google ad platform as well. The, the global pandemic has, of course, disrupted you know, practically every industry. Um, can you talk a little bit about how it's affected your operations and even how you're sequencing some of these projects? Our MLB teams and the club teams haven't missed a beat. Uh, we've used the time that's available to us uh, to pull in some projects that we had planned for later in the year, finishing the workload migrations that we have, um, polishing up our products, testing our infrastructure, making sure that last 1% of our use cases are uh, buttoned up and ready to go so that we can provide a great uh, fan experience when play resumes on the field. Jason, thank you for uh, sharing your experience and your insights. Um, we at Google Cloud are very excited uh, to be playing a part in helping uh, modernize America's pastime and working closely with MLB. Um, we have a few more sessions uh, with teams from MLB throughout the rest of Next On Air. So be sure to tune in for those. And again, Jason, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Anil. We're proud to help Major League Baseball and other media companies in continuing their cloud journey. And we're thankful to all of our partners and customers around the world. For more information on how Google Cloud can help you with your direct-to-consumer transformation, please visit our Media and Entertainment Solutions website and tune in to our continuing Next On Air programming throughout the summer. Thank you.